Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, My Intuition. Uh, continuing my class series, uh, Chemistry for Computer Science and Engineering, subject for BCHES 102 in the first semester and 202 for the second semester under Vishashra Technological University. I am uh, taking uh, some of the uh, high end questions uh, that is, uh, revised Bloom's taxonomy level uh, 3 and mainly uh, 4 uh, level questions. Uh, and there are uh, possible answers for that okay so um, almost uh, half of the module i covered in my previous class videos uh, previous class uh, video i covered on the electrochemical gas sensor now this is only for electrochemical gas sensor for s o x okay so electrochemical gas sensor for detecting s o x some of the questions uh, level 4 questions you can see analyze the chemistry and properties of SOX and explain how they contribute to environmental pollution. Evaluate the environmental impacts of SOX emissions on human health and ecosystem. Uh, design and electro design and electrochemical gas sensor for the detection of SOX emissions and uh, explain how it works. Again, the level four question. Analyze the materials uh, which are commonly used in electrochemical gas sensor for SOX reduction and explain the reaction involved ability level 4. Uh, more questions are the evaluate the advantages of using electrochemical gas sensors for the detection of SOX emission compared to other type of sensors. Uh, analyze and compare the sensitivity and selectivity of electrochemical gas sensor for SOX detection to other types of sensor. Design and application for the use of electrochemical gas sensor for the detection of SOX emissions and explain how it uh, would work. Evaluate uh, the key challenges and factors that affect the performance of electrochemical gas sensor for SOX detection and propose a potential solution uh, to address these challenges. All are level 4 questions, uh, say 8 questions. Okay, so it will be a lengthy video, um, not only co uh, covering the uh, topic uh, which is too specific given uh, by the governor syllabus by university and taking it a little bit higher level to the so that uh, it will be useful for the students uh, to for uh, doing some project and uh, because these are a very uh, uh, topic which are uh, highly chosen by engineering students to do the project so chemistry and properties of uh, SOX SOX refers to the oxides of sulfur which are sulfur dioxide and sulfur trioxide SO2 and SO3. These gases are formed during the combustion of fossil fuels such as coal, oil and gases and are major air pollutants. The sulfur dioxide is a colorless gas with a pungent odor that is SO2. It's a colorless gas but a pungent odor is there. The environmental impacts of uh, oxides of sulfur uh, oxides of sulfur can cause even though you write SOX referred as oxides of sulfur Oxides of sulfur can cause respiratory problems and uh, uh, exa, sorry, uh, create asthma. What is that? Exacerbate, exacerbate asthma and uh, other lung conditions in humans and uh, animals. I thought uh, typing mistake, no proper word is there. Uh, asthma and other lung condition in human and uh, animals. Uh, okay, um, particularly humans, we are bothered. Uh, we should take care of uh, that. Mainly, uh, animals is also needed, uh, not very much needed. Uh. Without uh, their support, you cannot survive. Sulfur trioxide is a highly reactive gas that can react with the water in the atmosphere to form sulfuric acid. Uh, that we know, sulfuric acid causes acid rain. SOX emissions can have significant environmental impacts, including the acidification of soil, water bodies, damage to crops and forests. So these are all we studied in our environmental studies class. Uh, acidification of soil what will be the acid rain impact uh, uh, if uh, water bodies are getting uh, acidified uh, killing the uh, uh, living organism in water fishes mainly it damages the crops uh, and uh, crops is our main worry damages the forest also SOX oxides of sulfur emissions can also contribute to the formation of smog and particulate matter which can have serious impact on air quality so delhi and all uh, we see that always smoke problems are there electrochemical sensor for sox uh, oxides of sulfur introduction 
Uh, to reduce the oxides of uh, sulfur emission, many countries have implemented uh, regulations and emission control measures. All countries are working on that uh, and they are also working on electrochemical gas and sulfur XOX. Okay, again uh, I took this same example in my previous video just to represent uh, what is uh, the uh, electrochemical uh, or the concept behind the electrochemical gas sensor it uses a, a sensing electrode a membrane uh, having a sensing electrode then uh, counter electrode reference electrode a temperature controller and uh, uh, circuit uh, to detect uh, exactly uh, measure the changes happening there so uh, materials and working uh, here mainly i'm focusing upon the the electrode material which is used, the sensing electrode and the material which is used on the sensing electrode sensing electrode itself is uh, the material uh, but there is also a conductive electrode is there on that uh, we are coating the material uh, which is used as the sensing material or we are using it for sensing electrochemical gas sensor for oxides of sulfur typically uses sensing materials such as lead oxide uh, tungsten oxide uh, that undergoes a redox reaction with the oxides of sulfur to generate an electrical signal okay continuation of that point only that a i put here you can see continuation so the specific redox reaction that occurs between the sensing material and oxides of sulfur it depends upon the type of gas being detected okay there are two types of oxides of sulfur like oh, mainly or oh, sulfur dioxide and sulfur trioxide and the operating conditions of the sensor, temperature, humidity, pressure, etc. However, in general, the redox reaction between the sensing material and uh, oxides of sulfur can be described as follows. In the case of lead oxide, if you are using lead oxide as the material uh, in our uh, sensor that we are uh, making, then the possible reaction, uh, it involves the reduction of uh, lead oxide to lead sulfate. Uh, increases the electrical conductivity of the material the reaction is given lead oxide uh, pbo plus sox gives a pbso4 okay it's not balanced reaction general reaction is given okay the left side x is the right side uh, is not there so this is not a balanced one generally what given pbo plus sox gives a pbso4 that means uh, lead sulfate will be formed okay you can balance you can put a Two here, then accordingly we can balance. We can put two, put three here. Then also we can balance the equation. Anyhow, PBSO4 is formed. In case of uh, the uh, tungsten trioxide, the reaction uh, involves the oxidation of tungsten trioxide to H2WO4, which leads to an increase in the electrical conductivity of the material. Okay, WO3 plus SOX plus H2O gives. H2WO4 plus SO3. The formation of H H2WO4 it increases the conductivity, which can be measured. So the sensing material is typically coated onto a working electrode along with a counter electrode and a reference electrode. When uh, oxides of sulfur molecule come into contact with the sensing material, they undergo a redox reaction, which generate a current between the working and counter electrode. Can be measured used to determine the concentration of uh, oxides of sulfur in gas phase that means uh, you have a working electrode on which the sensing material is there where the, the reaction takes place then we have a counter electrode as well as a reference electrode by under by measuring the uh, uh, so kinetics of uh, the reaction now by measuring the uh, rea reaction how much uh, uh, reaction happened based on that uh, we can uh, measure uh, the uh, oxide of uh, Oxides of sulfur concentration we can measure. Oxides of sulfur sensor can be calibrated and characterized by exposing them to a known concentration of oxides of sulfur and measuring their response, which can be expressed as a linear or nonlinear equation. So we have to even do the calibration also. Advantages of electrochemical gas sensors. Uh, electrochemical gas sensors for uh, uh, oxides of sulfur have many advantages as everyone say and it, it has got high sensitivity, high selectivity, low cost, uh, portability is there, uh, ease of use is there. Uh, that uh, everybody is telling your class teacher also said the same thing. Okay, so we go in a little bit in detail. These sensors are also highly responsive to changes in oxides of sulfur concentration allowing for real-time monitoring and uh, trend analysis. So, uh, the highly responsibility of uh, change, uh, they are highly responsible, uh, responsive, the response is very good uh, so that uh, 
will give real time monitoring uh, it is possible not only taking uh, catching the so x uh, putting to a uh, which uh, chamber and uh, then taking the sensor and sensing not like that uh, real time in the atmosphere this also changes in the oxides of sulfur can be measured Additionally, electrochemical sensors for uh, oxides of sulfur can be integrated into monitoring systems and networks, allowing for continuous and remote monitoring of uh, ambient uh, air quality and industrial emission. Ambient air quality means uh, that is very good for uh, human health. That is the qu air quality we call it as ambient air quality. Okay, so remote monitoring and ambient air quality in industry emissions so we have we can have electrochemical. Since it can be integrated into monitoring other monitoring systems and networks. Finally, electrochemical sensors for uh, oxides of sulfur are relatively simple to manufacture, very simple to operate, making them accessible to a wide range of users and applications. Comparison to other sensors in terms of sensitivity and selectivity. Comparing other sensors. Uh, only you pick into these two criteria sensitivity and the selectivity okay electrochemical gas sensor for oxides of sulfur are known for their high sensitivity high selectivity which makes them a popular choice for detecting uh, and monitoring uh, the harmful uh, gases in variety of uh, settings uh, compared to other uh, sensors like uh, semiconductor and optical sen sensors uh, Electrochemical sensors are typically more accurate and reliable with a lower risk of false positive or false negative. That means two more uh, sensors uh, come to know that semiconductor sensors are there which can measure SOX. Optical sensors are there which can also measure SOX. They are also more responsive to changes in gas concentration allowing for real-time monitoring and trend analysis. In addition, electrochemical gas sensor for oxides of sulfur can be integrated into monitoring systems and other networks allowing for continuous and remote monitoring of uh, ambient air quality and industrial emissions. Applications Oxides of sulfur, the sensors can be used in uh, various applications such as monitoring emissions from industrial uh, facilities, detecting leaks in the storage tanks or pipelines and measuring the ambient air quality. Factors which are affecting were some of the key challenges that is faced by the researchers or the one who is supplying that uh, sensor and the solutions, possible solutions. Several factors can affect the performance of electrochemical gas sensor for oxides of sulfur including the quality, the stability of the sensing material, the sensor design, the environmental conditions and the presence of interfering gases. So you have to consider all those. Uh, sensor design we need to consider and you know the conditions we need to measure uh, the other possible gases other gases which are can be interfering uh, the sensing uh, can also be need to be identified the selectivity of SOX sensor can be affected by interfering gases such as oxides of nitrogen carbon monoxide hydrogen sulfide which can lead to false positives or false negative results okay so if these gases also present uh, they also will uh, give the reaction and uh, the sensor will sense it as, uh, as oxides of sulfur and we may get a, pos a, uh, a positive result or even negative result both are false not true so will confuse us it may not be based, it may not be uh, based on the presence of uh, sox only or oxides of sulfur only. The sensitivity of the sensor can be affected by concentration of uh, sulfur dioxide, uh, oxides of sulfur, the temperature and humidity of the environment and the presence of other gases that can compete with the uh, oxides of sulfur for the sensing material. Okay, mean say if uh, the other gases like oxides of nitrogen or carbon monoxide or uh, carbon dioxide are there. Before the uh, oxides of nitrogen, like oxides of sulfur reaches the uh, surface of the sensing material, they will be competed by the other uh, gases. That is the meaning. That means we may not uh, get the exact result. That is the meaning of this sentence. The accuracy and the precision of uh, oxides of sulfur, uh, the sensor can be improve, improved by carefully monitoring the environmental conditions such as temperature, humidity, 
and pressure and by regularly calibrating and characterizing the sensors against the target gas and interfering gases. Okay. One of the main challenges is development of highly selective uh, sensing material which can uh, distinguish uh, oxides of sulfur from other gases such as oxides of nitrogen, carbon monoxide which can interfere with the sensing process. That is one of the main challenges. It requires a deep understanding of the electrochemistry of the sensing material and the redox reactions or the possible redox reaction if there any possibility of uh, uh, making uh, the chemical not to react with the oxides of nitrogen or carbon monoxide or other interfering gases this in a deep knowledge or um, practical possibilities if you think uh, then we can uh, go ahead uh, ch ch challenging the uh, challenges the development of advanced materials such as the metal organic frameworks, the nanomaterials, as well as uh, new sensor designs and data analysis, uh, their techniques uh, is a promising approach to address these challenges. Means we have no new materials are getting introduced. Uh, the smaller material like nanomaterials are there. A newer material we are uh, formed like metal organic frameworks, uh, and we have some uh, improved uh, methods. Uh, techniques uh, to do the designs uh, uh, again nanotechnology based techniques are there to control the design of the material uh, the size of the material or shape uh, even the thickness of the um, sensing material which we use uh, all these are uh, keep on uh, doing the trial and error we can even improve the um, uh, results Another challenge is the optimization of the sensor design to maximize the performance of the sensing material. This already came that includes the selection of appropriate electrode material, optimization of the thickness and porosity of the sensing layer, optimization of the operating conditions such as the temperature and humidity of the environment, etc. I got a message that I was reading. Advanced fabrication techniques such as microfabrication and thin film deposition can be used to precisely control the sensor geometry and properties that I already explained. I only prepared the slides so I know what are the coming in slides. So by default uh, I explaining it in advance. Finally the integration of electrochemical gas sensor for oxides uh, of sulfur into uh, monitoring system and network presents a challenging in terms of data management and analysis. The large uh, volume of data generated by the sensors required advanced data processing and visualization techniques to extract meaningful information and insights. So too much data, so we should have a device, a memory a cloud to store that. Machine learning and artificial intelligence techniques can be used to develop predictive models and identify patterns in the data. Therefore, each day, each moment, uh, we have uh, changes in the atmosphere, changes in the nature of the gas, changes in the temperature, changes in the pressure, humidity. Therefore, each day, each second, uh, the readings are not exactly as previous seconds reading. Therefore, it has to be recorded, it has to be stored, it should be available in the cloud so that uh, we can use artificial intelligence uh, to analyze uh, exact condition previously if it is then uh, we can compare it uh, we can refer it and give the exact uh, accurate result than just guessing the result okay, anyhow the sensor will give a reading and finally it is a man a person who is uh, analyzing it and telling what is the concentration so we can use the earlier data we can match it that uh, we will not get enough time to match but the artificial intelligence they will do it in a very fast way so OX, SOX, uh, oxides of sulfur sensors can be integrated into monitoring systems such as gas chromatographs, mass spectrometer, uh, spectrometers uh, or air quality networks to provide the real time data and uh, trend analysis. Uh, subscribe and uh, support my YouTube channel, my intuition, I am Dr. Prasad Kutilan. Uh, my uh, exact uh, name of channel is my intuition for eight. 6 5. There are many other my intuitions also there. So please check it. There is this logo that is my YouTube channel logo. Please do subscribe, please do support me, please do share, please do like. Thank you very much uh, for uh, being with me.